Kind of close, aren't you, girls? You know the rules. Yes, yes Mr. Mr. Doyle. I just thought my sister might have turned up. I told you yesterday. She wasn't here then, she's not here now. No, she was definitely supposed to come straight here from the airport. I, I just don't understand it. Well, maybe she met somebody on the plane. Oh, no. Betty's not that type of girl. Oh, I see. Well, sorry, she hasn't shown up. Nobody's checked in here since you were here yesterday. Yeah, yeah, please, sir, j just let me use your phone. It, there doesn't seem to be anyone else that's going to let me in. I, I really want to call the, the police. I, I'm really worried about Betty. You don't understand, Mr. Uh... What's your name again? Uh, Edward Lambert. Uh -huh. yeah, but you can call me Ed, yeah. sir. Uh, well, Mr. Lambert, the Mayflower has wars. Nobody's allowed in the building after midnight. Yes, sir. The words propriety and Mayflower are synonymous. Yeah, but, but my sister, uh, just let me in long enough to use your phone. Local call? Of course. All right. Can't be too careful nowadays. <laughs> Certainly different from when I was here before, Mr. Uh, what was it? Doyle. Albert J. Doyle. Different how? The, the place was swarming with girls then. Uh, uh, do you think you could check again, you know, in case Betty checked in when you weren't here? Well, it's the trouble. I'm always here. Then, I checked again. She's still not here, I tell you. Look, you want to make a phone call? There it is. Otherwise... Thanks. I, I, I really appreciate it. I suppose you checked to make sure your sister's plane arrived on time. Oh, of course. But, but let me call the airline again, you know, in, in case you missed her flight. <clears throat> it looks like it stopped snowing out there.
Are you okay, Mr. Doyle? Mr. Doyle! Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> I was afraid I'd hit you too hard. What? Can I get you a drink of water? Well, I'm afraid I had to slug you like that. You know, I had to be sure you didn't have a gun or anything. I, I had to play it safe. Gun? Well, yeah. After Did all, you, you're all alone in this hotel by yourself. There's no house detective. Just the manager, Miss McVeigh. She's fast asleep up, up on the fifth floor. How do you know that? Why, I was here yesterday. Don't you remember, Mr. Doyle? Oh. Damn it! How could I... Stupid! You... Oh. Uh, the safe's open. Take what you find in there. I hope 50 bucks is enough, because it's all there is. I don't think so. Well, I might have all the five dollars in my wallet. Six, as a matter of fact. I searched you while you were unconscious. I also found a gun in that little drawer over there. I'll just hang on to that. But it's not money or guns that I'm after, Mr. Doyle. It's this. You see, I, I'm not looking for my sister, Betty, Mr. Doyle. In fact, I bet Betty's fast asleep up in in Seattle, Washington. She did stay here once, though. She said it was very nice, very quiet, and respectable. Look, you got all the cash in the place. What are you hanging around for? It's not quite 12.30 yet. I guess we'll just have to wait. Wait? What? Do you like your job, Mr. What? Hey. Hey, listen. I guess it must be interesting. I mean, night manager in a hotel for women, you know. It must be very interesting, you know. You could probably write a best-selling book about all your experiences. Even at your age, it must be interesting. You lovely kid. <laughs> what are you getting at? You're probably not the lecherous type, though. Otherwise, you wouldn't work in such a, a nice place as this. Well, it's almost time. I guess I'll just start to get ready. Ready for what? What the hell is going on? Just an added touch. It's the kind of thing that goes over big in the newspapers. Yeah, uh, the newspapers. Yeah. 12.30, good. It's the time my father died. Of acute alcoholism. Driven to it by my mother. How does that grab you, Mr. Doyle? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be. He died of a coronary. But well, the other way sounds better. Oh, sure, whatever you say. We're wasting time. I've gone over these floor plans. I see the top floor is blessed. Yeah. Most of the rooms are single occupancy, except for a couple where there are two. <laughs> That'll make it easier. What are you gonna do? With this master key, I, I can go from room to room. And, and since there are only one per room, except for a few where there are two, I, there shouldn't be any unnecessary uproar or bother. Wait. 
position. You, you can't mean how oh, you guessed it. <laughs> well, well, what's the difference, Mr. Doyle? I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to be 24 soon, and who's ever heard of Edward Lambert? Nobody. But in a few short hours, a few short hours, I'll be the most famous man in the country. Maybe even the world. You can't do it. Listen to yourself. Oh yes, I can, Mr. Doyle. I've thought it all through. There's, there's no other way. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing. You know, I, I, I'll come down when I'm done. I'll untie you. And we'll call the cops, and we'll call the newspapers, and the police station, and, and, and everyone will come and, and see you. You can, even, you can even put a gun on me. You'll be the man who caught Edward Lambert. That makes you the second most famous person in the world. Oh! No, this is crazy! Oh, stop. I've thought it all through. It's, it's the late. only Listen way. To me. It's the only way. Seventeen innocent girls. The, the, the psycho is going to kill all those women one by one in their sleep. Stabbing them before they know what hit them. I got to do something. Seventeen girls in it. It'll be the most horrible crime ever. Yeah. Oh, Lambert will be famous. It'll be famous, all right. It'll be more than famous. It'll be newspaper articles, miles of television footage on him, magazine articles, books. I'm gonna do something, man. Homer, go ahead, stop him. That makes you the second most famous person in the world. The second most famous person in the world. The second most famous person in the world. Ah, no, 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 no. Of good.